back everyone. I'll go and show you exactly how to lock your iMessages app so whenever somebody tries to open it, they'll basically be able to open it but they won't be able to use anything basically until you actually unlock this specific application. So if I triple click the home button or the side button, you can see I have to type in a passcode. I'll type in the passcode and you can see I can click end up here and then the iMessage app will basically be able to work. So in order to do this, what you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application like this. Then you want to scroll down until you see accessibility, which is right here. Then you want to go and scroll down once more until you see guided access, which is right here. And then you want to make sure guided access is on. If this is on, you can also change, click on the passcode settings and you want to set a guide access passcode. So you can click here and you can essentially type in a passcode. I've already set in my passcode, which is just a bunch of zeros. So once you have that set up, all you have to do is you want to make your way over to your Siri shortcuts application. Now shortcuts is literally this. You can just type in shortcuts and spotlight search. You can go ahead and open it, download it if you have to. So we're going to open up the shortcuts app. You'll come into a panel that looks something like this. You want to make sure you click the automation tab at the bottom and you want to click plus up there. Now at this point, you want to click create personal automation and we want to click on the app button. So here's the app button. You want to go and click there. And here you want to go ahead and choose an application that you want to actually go ahead and you know lock essentially. So we want to click choose. In this case, we're using messages. So we'll go ahead and use messages here. So I'll go and click messages here. I'll go and click done. And you want to make sure this is, is opened. So at this point, what you want to do is you want to click next. And here you want to go ahead and add an action. So what we're going to do is we're going to click add action. And we want to make sure our action is guided access. So we want to type in guided and you can see start guided access. So we want to click on start guided access. And at this point you want to go ahead and click next. And right here where it says ask before running, you want to go ahead and turn this off. You want to click don't ask. And then what we want to do is we want to click done. And what's going to happen is I have two of them basically set up. So I'm going to go ahead and delete one, but you'll basically be able to use both. So now if we go ahead and make our way over to iMessage, we'll go ahead and click iMessage here. You'll see this little option come up. Now, sometimes you may be able to see that iMessage is still being used and everything like that. So in order to actually go ahead and basically configure this, we want to triple click the side button right here. I think if you're on a home button iPhone, you want to triple click the you know, home button. And here you want to type in the passcode that you set up earlier. So in this case, for me, it was a bunch of zeros. And here is where our basically configure panel is. So what we want to do is we want to click options and you want to configure these to however you want. So the main thing is you want to click touch and you want to make sure that's disabled. Now I enabled home buttons just because it's easy for me to tell when my iPhone is actually frozen and when it's not. In this case, it's not. And so here you can go ahead and I'll probably recommend disabling the side button as well. So when yours looks like mine or you can disable this one too, you want to click done. And here is when you want to click end. So when you click end, you'll see iMessage is fully functional then and you can use it. Now, the only thing is, is like I mentioned, people will still be able to see your messages here, but they won't be able to actually use your messages. They won't be able to do anything else until you actually go ahead and type in that passcode. So essentially, every single time you go into messages with this method, you won't be able to use it. You won't even be able to swipe up. You can see with the home button, if you go ahead and use the home button, you can still use the home button and basically still see your phone. But it's not until you triple click the home side button here, type in your passcode, and then you click end that's when you can actually start using iMessage. So if you want to disable this, all you have to do is make your way back into shortcuts. So right here, you want to swipe this to the side. You want to click delete. And here, iMessage will work perfectly fine. It'll be exactly how it was before. So that's pretty much how you can lock the iMessage app. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.